This five minute total serve video will show how to quickly and effectively in three easy steps teach high schoolers how to serve. First we check the grip that has a continental grip marker on it for easy reference for students and coaches. The grip should be loose and low on the end of the total serve. Now we're checking the stance. Start at a 45 degree angle to the net with your feet spaced apart. If you can draw a line off of your toes towards the box you're serving into, you're generally well set up. I don't recommend anything but a platform stance for beginner and novice players. The only thing that will happen here with your feet is that your back heel will lift so that you can drive your back hip and the front foot stays still always. Step one, feet are spaced, elbow is back to the back fence, tricep is parallel to the ground, and the hand is closed behind the head. We want to check their toss arm as well. Make sure for right-handers that it goes towards the right net post so that the ball toss will go in the correct place. Here I'm demonstrating incorrect position of the hand in the back. It's rolled open. Here is the correct position, sometimes known as halo position, hand closed. Before we start swinging, we want to check the toss arm. These are all right-handers, so their right hand is going to move towards the right net post. The toss comes from the shoulder. The arm is straight, the fingers are flat, and they lift all the way up fingers to the sky. Now it's time to swing. First we're going to use the toss arm, and then swing up to contact point. The toss arm elbow should bend and come across the body, and the toss hand should be waiting for the total serve cord to swing into it. This is good toss arm action. The arm goes all the way up and then it does its next job, which is to pull out of the way quickly and powerfully to the opposite side of the body to help rotation and racket head speed. Your hand should be there in advance of the total serve getting there and catching on the cord. Use an up target such as the butt of a racket or a tennis tube held out of reach and in correct contact point for your student to swing at. They need to know what it feels like to go up to the correct contact point and what their arm and wrist should be doing. Step two, the downswing. You can do a classic downswing or a variety of abbreviated swings. Here we're trying to get the total serve to travel on a straight line in the direction of where the, you want the ball to go and traveling in a 180 degree arc. The arm must be relaxed, the swing is coming from the shoulder, and the grip is very, very loose. Now we're just taking step two a little bit further. As the total serve arcs back and forth, when you feel the weighted end come up in the back, simply bend your elbow, relax your arm, and let it plunk down your back. Now you're going to be in perfect throwing position, which was step one. Many players try and muscle the downswing. They use their hand and their forearm to try and put the racket in correct position. Let this come from the shoulder, be completely relaxed, let the elbow bend and get in position. Step three, putting it all together. Steps one and two were preliminary phases for continuous motion. What makes that happen is driving the back side hip, the hitting side hip, forward before swinging up to contact. This will drag your racket through to continuous motion and avoid having a hitch in the back. These are all novice players. The young man in the red shirt has only been playing for three weeks. He'd never picked up a tennis racket before and he had no serve before we started today. Now that's a pretty darn good motion for a very short amount of time. Now we have the racket in hand. We want to treat it just like the total serve, keep a loose, whippy feel. The hand needs to be loose on the grip because the tendency is to clench on and then try and control the racket head and use muscular force. Alright, now it's time to hit a ball. We're going to see a variety of things happening and typically the most difficult thing for them to do is to toss. So learning that tempo on the downswing of going slow on the downswing and the upswing and then accelerating up to contact point is critical for a good ball toss and good timing going up to the ball. I know you guys probably think it's a little crazy. Woo! Nice. A little grip. It's important to be able to relate to all of your players. Lefties tend to get left out because most coaches and players are right-handed and we just can't relate. So the total serve is your tool for lefties and righties. It can relate to anyone and help them feel the correct service motion. 
So we have some really smiling, happy faces here. These guys just didn't They're know just that working, they could right? do this. They had no concept of what to do for a serve. And I think that they were really, really happily surprised. Now they can just keep practicing and moving forward and have a Excellent. great high school season and win lots of matches. All because of the total serve.